faster. Now we're going to mark the action for the nails that go in that are lifted by the pneumatics. Our bottom board, we use one that's approximately 13 sixteenths tall. <clears throat> that can vary a sixteenth of an inch either way, taller or shorter. And then the top line, we use a board that's two and a quarter inches tall that we sit on top of the bottom one and mark that. So we'll go ahead and mark the bottom row. We start on number 20 sticker for the pneumatics and you draw a line across there and then um, number 20 start on 20 on the top row and go across there. This is so we know where to put the nails. On some wood, it's easier to mark it with a ballpoint pen or a small felt pen. Other actions like this one, they're lighter, it's easier with a nail. Whichever shows up, it doesn't matter. Mark these, you mark it over to number 85. You don't put a pin in 86, 87, or 88. The O-roll is not coded for those last three notes. And the same with the, the top row, of course. You skip the last three stickers also. It's important that the first nail we install is at the top on number 20, and the second one is at the bottom on number 21. We'll alternate top and bottom. Then when we get down to the very right-hand end, the last nail that'll go in will be on the bottom. That way the last pneumatic will be farther to the right. The pneumatics will be there and top and then the bottom would be farther to the right. That'll allow the tubes to come over the top and go down through the hole in the key bed easier without hanging up on anything or kinking. Die grinder like we use, you need to put tape around the end of